Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. got to talk about the Kiki Palmer situation. I've been trying to catch up as much as I can um, with this. Now, I will say this. When everything went down this summer with Usher, I remember one of the things I said is if he's tripping like this publicly and he's feeling this insecure, what is going on behind the scenes? You know, I felt like, you know, he was doing a bit too much during that instance, but now more information is coming out. So a few days ago, basically there were still shots that hit the internet where it showed that Kiki Palmer was being abused by her baby daddy, Darius. Um, so let me go ahead and find the news footage. We're going to watch that here really quick. So this is about Darius Jackson and Kiki's relationship. So we're going to watch this really quick here. Kiki Palmer, the former host of GMA3 and the game show Password, has been granted a temporary restraining order against her ex-boyfriend. Darius Jackson is the father of her eight-month-old son. The actress, who famously showed off her belly bump when she appeared on SNL, submitted shocking images to the court, taken from surveillance video, including this one of her being thrown over the back of a sofa, his hand around her throat. Kiki Palmer alleges the domestic violence occurred here at her Los Angeles home over the course of two years. And she says the most recent incident happened last Sunday. It got so bad, she called police. The on the phone that the suspect was attempting to kill her. In the court documents, Palmer says the abuse included striking and grabbing me around the neck and threatening to kill himself with a gun if I left him. Palmer says the abuse has gone on for two years. These photos from 2022 show Jackson allegedly manhandling her. She ends up at the bottom of the stairs. She also accuses him of hitting me in front of our son and spewing profanities about me to our son. Palmer's mother, Sharon, weighed in on the accusations last night, saying she reached out to Jackson's brother. I went to Sharona's over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter. We reached out to Palmer and her ex for comment, but did not hear back. <laughs> All right, let me come back on the screen here. So this situation, um, it is very unnerving, you know, and I like Kiki Palmer, but I also feel like, you know, there's a bit more to the situation. I'm going to say this. Um, I don't, I, the still shots to me didn't make me feel comfortable when it's just still shots because it's like, where's the video? I want to know like the full story. I want a full picture on what is going on in this situation. Another thing that I just found very weird about all of this is that um, they had been doing a podcast off and on for like, I want to say the past few months where the mother's on the podcast, the baby daddy's on the podcast. And I remember Troyce had did like a breakdown video uh, recently. I had watched his video as well. And they were talking about the whole Gabrielle Union situation where she was talking about, you know, she's going half on the bills with D. Wade. And Kiki Palmer was basically co-signing that and saying, you know, it's okay. And, you know, um, you should be able to go half with a man on bills. Yeah, if you're a regular couple working a nine to five, if my husband is D. Wade, I'm not going half on bills with D. Wade. You'll never hear a Latina, an Asian woman who is dating a multimillionaire man talking about she's going half on the bills. And I thought that was very weird. And I think, you know, that's maybe her situation with her baby's dad. But what I noticed on the podcast was, you know, the mom was there. And I, you know, I get being close with your mom and stuff, but I felt like the mom is too involved in their relationship from what I was seeing. 
And so it's just like a lot of like conflicting things. So today there was more proof that came out, but it was more or less on Darius's side. And um, Armand got a lot of that tea, okay? So let me go ahead and play out this video first. Because again, they're saying that this abuse has been going on for the past two years. And this is why I will always reiterate that I do not take anything that celebrities do, their relationships. I refuse to put any celebrity couple as my relationship goals because you never know what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, just for her birthday, they were together. I think she got a tattoo or something of him. On Father's Day, she was on TikTok, you know, proclaiming that, you know, he's the world's best dad. So it's like now to hear all of this has been going on for the past two years, well, the baby's only eight months old. So the red flags, you know, if they were there, why have a kid with him? You know what I'm saying? So the whole situation is just really unnerving. He definitely gives me weird tease. Like, I told y'all about his past girlfriend. Like, for me, that was a red flag. And sometimes, as women, we'll get in a, in a situation where we feel like we done took this man from another woman and we're winning and, you know, he's my man now. But be careful because you might be doing that other woman a favor. Because remember, he was with his other girlfriend and he forced her to get an abortion because she was supposedly pregnant. He made her get an abortion and then all of a sudden he was with Kiki. So even the way they started their relationship to me was weird. And I talked about that during the whole Usher video, if you guys go back and watch that. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to watch this clip here of them from like the podcast and just random clips. So it's very weird to see her mom online, you know, doing all of this. Um, and so we're just going to watch this clip and I'm going to come back and talk. Okay, so we're just gonna watch this here. Man, you're dating. You gotta be very careful who you introduce to your kids. Right, it's so true. That, that's why when I get my new man, I'm gonna be careful, Darius. I promise, I'm not gonna. You mean snap the man version? <laughs> talk about another relationship i was younger i had still this young man oh, no, no. he's my type <laughs> Not Armand Wiggins every five seconds. Armand Wiggins. <laughs> Shout out to Armand. <laughs> he was getting that exclusive, honey. He made sure his name was in there. Armand Wiggins. So I, I just found it weird, you know, because like the mom is like, oh, he's my type. And I, I just feel like the mom is way too involved. That That was just really weird. I'm not going to be flirting with my, you know, if I had a daughter, her man, and acting like, you know, oh, you know, he's my type, and he's so cute, you know, and then even that little joke about not introducing your child too early to your new man, and, you know, Kiki tries to crack the joke, and he automatically goes to thinking about being on Snapped and for my man, the dynamic is just weird, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and walk over to Armand Wiggins' page. <laughs> <laughs> that little shout out was too funny because he ended up getting a bunch of like exclusive tea. I'm showing another side. And again, this is not to say that Darius is innocent or Kiki's 100% innocent. Something is definitely going on. But I've always gotten weird teas from Darius. I I'm no fan of his at all. And I've been saying that. But we're going to go ahead and just, you know, I'm going to share with y'all some of the things that Armand got that was sent to him from Darius's people. So I'm gonna share my screen here. Give me just a second. Yeah, the whole thing is just weird. And again, I don't take abuse as a joke. Um, domestic violence situations are very serious. And I've always talked about that and especially on both sides. I don't agree with it. I don't care if it's the female who's the perpetuator or the man. 
everyone needs to leave each other alone, keep their hands off of each other. If you guys can't make it work without putting your hands on each other, then y'all don't need to be together, point blank, period. So I'm gonna go through this stuff. I'm gonna put on my mother goose glasses, honey, okay? So um, there's different dates, but this is from March of 2022. It says, if you delete the footage from last Sunday night, it'll only confirm how much of a manipulator you are. I talked amongst my people. You decide to look through my messages. I never threatened to speak out in public, only to the ones who should have been telling all along. Leave me alone. My evidence is just a reminder to never speak to you again. Darius Jackson. So that was some type of email to Lauren Palmer. Um... Then the next thing says, is this a joke? Leave my family out of this. Leave us alone. Y'all are mad, abusive, and controlling. I'm getting a new number today. You're done forever. Then there was some type of voice recording. And again, that was in 2022. And here Kiki uh, replies back to him a few days later, says, hey, I understand if you don't want to meet anymore. I'm not sure if you're getting my messages or not, but I'm available today at 8. If you still wanted to meet me at Garland, Lauren P. Big Boss Entertainment. So, again, it definitely sounds like some conflicting things. Like she's trying to work some things out. So let's go on to the next screenshot here. So this looks like a message to Sharon. Some type of text message. It's really tiny, so I'm coming close. Uh, you cannot leave her. She is drunk. You cannot leave her. She's under the influence. He's saying, wonderful. She hit me. Never would have thought she would. Her friends are with her. She was with them. Then the mama says, please meet me at 5506 Hermitage. I want to speak to you. And then there's some voice chats and an estimated ETA. And this was in 2021. So this timeline is showing that something has been happening in their relationship for a while now. So let me see if I can blow this up a little bit here. Okay, so this was in August 20th of 2021. It says, thank you for everything. It was a delight that you stopped by last night. The language of love is rarely spoken. It's been an absolute blessing to have you look out for us because hardly anybody in the entertainment, I'm sorry, hardly anybody in the environment we are in is rooting for Kiki and I. So those spirits and evil consume us more than we thought it would. We want to be better people and surround ourselves with people that can speak the language we speak and relate to what we feel will continue to practice my faith. Thank you. So then this is a response. Amen, my humble advice. I know neither of you would have asked me for it, but I will give it for what it is worth. The black industry parties are the worst. I hate to say it, but they are, but they breed chaos and jealousy, just like crabs in a barrel. No one wants to see the other one succeed. Kiki was very successful early on, so she became the one that they targeted and whispered about. She was a phenom kid that kept booking jobs, yet worked so much that she never developed real friends. And she, and all she ever wanted was a genuine friend, never fame. The language of love indeed is a unique one, and we all have to customize it to fit you and yours. I wanted to speak with you last night to tell you that Kiki often has to walk a tight rope, a rope from black Hollywood to white Hollywood. She can never slip up or else. So this is her mom replying back to the message that Darius wrote, okay? Then she goes on to say, can you imagine the stress and anxiety trying to be accepted in black culture and respected in both worlds? I do not condone her hitting you. Oh, wow. Wow. I do not condone her hitting you or anyone. And I told her that. But I hope that you guys can try to make it work. Try not to make a bad night turn into a forever. 
you might one day regret. Darius, I think you are awesome. I know that Kiki loves you, sending prayers, hoping that you guys can get over this bump and find your mojo again. Much love. Then she says, good morning. Sorry to bother you so early. Just checking to see if Kiki is up. Her car is coming at 9 a.m. And I know last night she said she didn't have a charger. So that was kind of wild. So it looks like her mom is confirming that there was, you know, Kiki put hands on him as well. And that was in 2021. Um, let's see here. Looks like this is some video or audio. Okay, looks like there's a bunch of text messages where somebody, Lauren Palmer, I don't know if that's some type of alias or something, but they're trying to contact him after he changed his number. And so these are pictures that were sent to Armand. So it looks like he has like scratch marks on them, fingernail marks. Oh, wow. So definitely, you know, scratches. Hmm. Okay. This is the audio. That you put it through? That you put it through? Oh, what the fuck is you saying, Ingrid? That you put it through? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Ron Wiggins. If if only, if only, if only you actually like. (laughs) He's trying to say he's trying to do the whole child actor, parents um, sacrifice their childhood gag. Oh, okay. Everybody's saying that Lauren is Kiki's first name. I never do that. I thought Kiki Palmer was her real name. Okay, so Lauren is Kiki. Okay, perfect. Thank y'all. I never knew that she had a different first name. Okay, I'm finished playing the video. Oh, well, okay, well, we got $30 million today. Look at her. Look at her. That's fine. Yeah, I'm trying to find her, I guess. Okay. Come on, Wiggins. But what did your mom do to you? Huh? She fucked you up. My mom's fine. You should have been a child entertainer. I'm good. Maybe you would have more gumption. Maybe you would have more shit to do it. Because your mama fucked you up. She turned you into a punk-ass mama's boy who harasses a woman. What kind of bullshit is that? Your mama should be ashamed of herself. She should be telling you, why are you harassing this girl? Because why are you doing this? 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 She's the one that kept wanting to come back around. Trust me, I didn't want this. But that makes no sense as to why you harassed. You know, there's no need to say horrible things and send me this usher picture. There's no reason for that. You do that because you're nuts. There's no reason for you to say that. Jezebel, calling me Haiti. That's all necessary. You do all of that unnecessarily because something's wrong with your mind. It's not normal. You sound like you have a broken brain and you need to go to see somebody because you're chemically imbalanced. There's nothing that I've done for you to stay on that page. People have endured more. I've endured more from you and I don't do that to you. I don't sit up there and call you all kinds of names and do stuff like that. You randomly have had an episode and then you harass me for an hour straight. Her mom That's what you do. It's not normal. I'm it's not necessary. You can just not talk to me. I'm going to harass you. Up your bisexual. He sleeps with men, you stupid motherfucker. I'm on Wiggins. You should know you spent a lot of time with Jordan. You the dumb motherfucker. And then you let your family, you let your brother talk you into, oh, hey man, look, your brother's a pussy too. His reputation in Hollywood is he's a fuck boy. And he's an asshole. And nobody really likes him. Lord London don't like his ass. Armand Wiggins. So at the end of the day, you, the Jacksons, are fucking jokes. You guys are fucking jokes. That's what you are. You're a fucking joke. So don't blame Kiki for being a joke. You was a joke before you met her. Armand Wiggins. So don't blame her. Don't call her cunt. And what man thinks they're going to call the mother of their child cunt, bitches, whore, you've been run through, but I'm going to come and get the baby. What kind of mental motherfucker are you? Nobody does that, that, dare you? Nobody does that. What, 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 woman, what woman wants their child to go be with a man who calls them cunt and bitches? That's the stupid. 
stupidest thing I've ever my daughter ever, ever give you the baby after you call her a cunt, I'm gonna be high. I'm on with you. Yeah. And you know what Baby's gonna be back in my arms. I'm like, uh, the inevitable's gonna happen. He's gonna grow up to be a man, a real man, no, and no, he's gonna go ahead you, and just you, come on over. All right. Dad, I'm his dad. Not gonna be happy I'm his dad. I'm his dad. I'm his dad. I'm his dad. I don't care about what you all think. I don't care what you think, especially yeah, Kiki. I don't care about what exactly. anybody else thinks. Sharon, exactly. your opinion is very little to me. You're, you're, you're wasting your breath right now, Sharon. You're, 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 you're wasting your breath right now. You're wasting your breath right now. Trust me. Is it over? Shit. <laughs> yeah. Nigga. Nigga. You know, Williams. Oh, there's more. Bro, I've seen this like 20 different times, Sharon. It doesn't phase me anymore. <laughs> None of what y'all do phase me anymore. Come on now. Where's my son at? Where's my son at? Mon Williams. Okay. Okay. I'm sure. I don't know what the fuck my daughter does showing you, lip dick ass. That, that, I'm about to fix it. I'm about to fix it. That's what you raised. That's what you raised. You are, yeah, and that's what your mama raised. Dick suckers. Okay. Your mother's a dick sucker too. I'm sure. Both of y'all are dick suckers. I'm sure. You probably suck dicks too. Okay. I'm on with you. Dick sucker. Yep. You're a dick sucking motherfucker. All right, so, so about a bullet. All right, so about that bullet again? You keep fucking with me, you might get a dick in your ass. Okay. Keep fucking with me. Okay. You motherfuckers don't know who you're dealing with. Uh, y'all have no idea who you stepped up and to play with, but you it's all good. I tried to be nice to you. Yeah. I tried to be nice because I thought you had some mental problems. Nope. So I tried to be nice, yes. but if you're going to talk about my daughter, <clears throat> you're going to harass my daughter, you're going to talk about Usher, Usher is gay. Our mom lives. Even Told her to put some clothes on. Told her to put some clothes on. Told her to put some clothes on. You are stupid. Told her to put some clothes on. She's a mom. She has to put some clothes on. She's a mom. She has to put some clothes on. Yeah. Okay. So what my son do? Where's my son at? Even Marcus, John, even Marcus Johnson, the nigga that your brother named after, his kids told me y'all are crazy. He was the one in the in the video. They told me that you and your brother's crazy. It's crazy because your brother's named after after their dad. And they said y'all are nuts. I'm sure. I'm sure. Can he still hear me? Oh yeah, he is. I'm just waiting for my son. Where's my son at? It's football Sunday. He needs to be with his family. Armand with him. They have, they, they have nothing to do with this. They have nothing to do with this. They have nothing to do with this. No, they don't. I'm on Wiggins. Okay. But for my son. But you don't have to harass my son. Where's my son? Where's my son? Where's my son? That's all I'm just asking for. I'm not here for her. Mon Wiggins. Is it over? <laughs> I'm waiting for it to be like Armand Wiggins. I think it's over. Damn. I feel like we shouldn't have been in that group chat listening. And why does she keep talking about him having a limp dick? Like, 
what the hell is Kiki and her mama talking about? Like, why is she so worried about this man's peen? Why did Usher catch a stray? Why did Lauren London catch a stray? What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Damn, Sharon went in. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. She is way, way too involved in their relationship. Wow. Um, she did respond back because people started dragging her about the Usher situation. So let me pull this up. This is what she had to say about the Usher situation here. Let me read y'all this. Ooh, we. Armand Wiggins. <laughs> Okay, so this is what she had to say. She uh, she went into, oh, he's out here sucking peen too. I seen his videos on Twitter. People were sending me that shit yesterday. Kyle from the Neighborhood Talk, he was sucking like three different peens. One was brown skin, one was light skin. I don't know who leaked his videos, but uh, we see you, Kyle. Anyways, she was on the Neighborhood Talk and she said this. The lie I told about Usher was to get Darius to stop abusing my daughter on account of his jealousy. So I said he didn't like women for her safety. Everything else I meant with my chest and didn't expect anyone to hear it because recording me is illegal. I guess he's okay with jail, but I knew that when he put his hands on my daughter, he is still abusing her in all of this, trying to paint himself as a victim textbook. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I don't think she said that to get, you know, Darius to stop abusing her daughter. I think she said that because she's in the industry and she knows that the industry T is that Usher, you know, allegedly goes both ways. Remember a few years ago when he was getting sued by everybody, you know, for passing along STDs or whatever. And remember, it was a few gay men in that lawsuit. So she said that with her whole chest. I'm not believing that, oh, I just said that so he wouldn't abuse my daughter. No, you're just trying to backtrack now because you were recorded. And a lot of times, you know, again, people can act one way in public, but it's really about how you act when the public isn't watching. And she was wilding out. She was wilding out. But I get it. If she feels like her daughter is being abused and things like that, she's going to have her daughter's back. But I feel like she's one of those hovering mothers and she's too involved in their relationship. Even, I just thought it was weird that she was on the podcast with them. Like we see couple podcasts all the time, right? You know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wives. But then it's like to have the mother there, it's just like, what is this? It's just a bit too much. Um, she said a lot. She said a whole lot. You know, I think there's more to the story. I think there's definitely more to the story. And the fact that he's been recording things and you know keeping receipts and maybe he felt the need to do that because he felt eventually if everything goes to a head behind their child he needs to also have something to protect him as well and y'all know I'm always here for receipts and his receipts child they filled me up he bought a lot of receipts compared to that still shot I need to see the whole video I want to see everything so I just think the whole situation is just, it's crazy. And I think that at this point in time, they need to be separated. I think they don't need to be together. Um, you know, maybe figure out some type of co-parenting, having mediation, but they definitely don't need to be together. Something is going on in that relationship. Um, regardless if it's him putting hands on her or her putting hands on him or them beating on each other. But we even saw in the email where the mom was apologizing on Kiki's behalf. Something is not right. And then the fact that, you know, he was so jealous about the Usher situation. I feel like they're both possibly toxic for each other, you know. But again, this is why I always say that you never look at anybody's relationship. I don't care if it's your favorite cousin, if it's your favorite celebrity, if it's your neighbor. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Wow, they look like a beautiful couple together. You know, he's tall. You know, she got her little handsome, quote unquote, Prince Charming. Kiki's a beautiful woman. You never know what's going on behind the scenes. So at this point in time, the most important thing to me is that baby. 
that baby does not need to be around this dysfunction. You know, the mother is yelling about, you know, limp dicks and all types of weird stuff. And I, I just don't get that. She's talking about getting the boy raped. I mean, it was just, it was just a bit, it was a bit much. And <laughs> it was a bit much and I'm trying to like take it seriously. Then you got Armand every five seconds, Armand Wiggins. <laughs> it was like, I was trying not to laugh. I wasn't laughing about what was being said, but more or less every time he popped up with the Armand Wiggins shout out, you know, but the whole thing is just very, very disturbing. It really is. So I don't know what's going to happen from here, but this is why I say, again, I will reiterate this, as women, especially black women, we have to watch who we bring into our inner circle, who we date, who we decide to be in relationships with, because a man can either make or break everything that you build. And this also goes for men as well, right? If you're a man who's well-to-do, who has yourself together, you have to be very, very careful of the woman that you date as well because they can literally ruin everything that you've built. Kiki, we've never known Kiki to be in, involved in any drama, so I get why the internet was going hard for Kiki. She hasn't been involved. I mean, we've been watching her since Akila the Bee, even before then. You've never known Kiki to be involved in drama, beefing with people, you know what I'm saying? And I've always liked her. I've always been a big fan of Kiki. So it's like to have all of this coming out ever since she's gotten with this man, it's not a good look. And that's why I say that, you know, as women, we have to be very, very mindful. You know, you have to date somebody who has something to lose. I don't know what Darius does. You know, I heard he's a writer. I don't know what movies he's written. It, from the sounds of the audio, he's a struggle actor. You know, I don't know. But he's definitely not in Kiki's league. Like, let's just keep it real. She's a multi-millionaire. And it's just, it's sad. I just feel like sometimes as black women, we're always dating down. It's like, you know, the choices that we have, it's just not in abundance and it's sad, you know? So she had no business even getting with him. I just don't think he's on her level. And sometimes, unfortunately, men will resent you after a while if you're the more successful one. You know, it's obvious. It seemed like she was wearing the pants in that relationship. Look how the mother's running everything. There's no way that a real man is going to be able to deal with that the way he's just being emasculated and being talked down to. And then you have her in the background, like almost gaslighting and whispering, you're mentally ill. You have mental issues. Your grandma said you have mental issues. It was just weird, like this weird tag teaming between her and the mom, you know? And again, that was the real them because they didn't know they were being recorded. So it's like, how long has this been going on? Yeah, he just comes off as very weak. And no man is going to sit there and deal with that. And he probably thought he could deal with it, being that, you know, she has more money, she's the famous one. But eventually that's going to build resentment. No man, no real man is going to sit around and just be talked down to consistently. I don't think she needed to get with him at all. She should have got with somebody on her level. You know, that's the same thing I said about Angela Simmons. You out here getting pregnant by this weird ass credit card scammer. When you have access to, you know, the most upper echelon men in the industry, you know, and so I, I just, I don't get that. You know, we can say the same thing for a lot of people in the industry. Look at Mary J. Blige and Ken Don't. And now she's having to pay him spousal support. So I just hope she learns from this and she ends up just getting with somebody a lot better. He needs to move on. But I just, I think she thought she won a prize because he was with the other girl and, you know, she snatched him away and he was not a prize at all because now he has a reputation looking crazy. So again, y'all, men and women, when you have something to lose, you move accordingly, okay? Just like with old ass Al Pacino. Y'all see what he's going through. Him and his dusty sperm done got that 30-year-old girl, girl pregnant. He's in his 80s. Knocking up a 30-year-old, I don't even know what she does. She could be a nanny for all I know, but now she's filing to get $30,000 a month in child support. And they're saying that his family's upset. Well, he's the one who has something to lose. When you have something to lose, you don't put yourself in a situation to get some young gold digger pregnant. I feel no ways about Al Pacino and his old sperm, you know, knocking up a 30-year-old, and now the 30-year-old is living her best life off of his child support. So you, you have to be smart with your moves. You know, I don't care if it's a man or a woman. So I, I just think the whole thing is just really disturbing. 
Um, but I'm going to wait and just see how it plays out, you know, because like I said, he definitely brought a lot of receipts. So I want to see what else she's bringing because even um, there was something else, I think, in the police report. Let me see here. There was another thing I want to pull up. I'm going to see if it's on his page. But the police report that was sent out there not even too long ago, they were even saying that there was no there was no abuse. It was just like a child situation, something with the child. So something is going on. Like I said, um, you know, I was definitely team Kiki when everything first came out. Now I am team I want more info because none of this is coming off right. None of this is making sense. The whole thing is toxic. And it was just weird how the mom was, you know, had that video acting like she wanted him. And then she keeps talking about his limp dick. Like, that's just weird to me. There's just certain things, like, as a mom, I'm not entertaining. I'm not even, like, that, that's just weird. So this was um, the police report. So this was from November 5th, so just a few weeks ago at, at 1130, with the case number it says RC ADW domestic violence, no crime, child custody dispute only, advise medi mediation, family court for child custody agreement. So that was the police department. That was, um, you can see like the police case number and everything. So like I said, something is definitely going on. I am team, I want more information. Um, again, this is not to minimize anything. It's not to minimize any abuse going on. But from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of craziness on both sides. Something is not right. And like I said, not even a few months ago, they were all on this podcast, you know, kumbaya -ing. So if all of this has been going on for the past two years, why are we even giving out relationship advice? It's, it's insane. They're literally dolling out relationship advice and they don't need to. So let me see. Oh, somebody said that's not the police report. What is that? Where's that from? Is that just like paperwork from the court? I thought it was a part of the police report, but okay, it's an incident report. So do you think it's an incident report from like um, the court system? Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. Oh, no, says she sent the video to the courts. It's not public opinion. Yeah, I know she sent videos to the courts. I know that. But like I said, he's also coming with video evidence as well. So, you know, it's something going on. At the end of the day, something is going on in that situation with both of them. I feel like this entire situation is toxic. So at this point in time, you know, he's bringing his side and, you know, his evidence. But, yeah, definitely something is going on with the whole situation. There's abuse on, it looks like clearly both sides. And I feel like the mother's also involved very heavily in their relationship. And that's probably what's causing even more of the drama. It, the whole thing is just very, very weird. But again, like I said, I've never known Kiki to be involved in anything. You know, before she got with this man, like we've never known her to be involved in any type of trouble, people talking about her. So it's almost like this whole situation is just bringing her down, you know, everything that she's going through. So it's not to minimize anything. All I'm doing is showing both parts. So we watched the news um, article um, where they talked about the abuse with Kiki. Now we're watching the evidence that he's brought up. So that's all it is, is discussion. At the end of the day, I wasn't there and neither were y'all. So for y'all who were crying in the chat, y'all weren't there either. But I feel like there's definitely something is going on. I don't feel like it's just made up on either side. You know, I feel like there's a lot going on. And at this point in time, they need to get to the bottom of it. And the part that's just the scariest is that there's a baby involved. And that's my biggest concern because I know one of the things that she was saying in the court paperwork is that he's threatened to harm the child. So something is not right. Something is not right at all. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.